Iran just shocked the world again. <laughs> In 2025, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps revealed what they claim is a next-generation hypersonic missile, the Fatah II. With speeds over Mach 15 and claims of maneuverability in space, this weapon is designed to defeat the most advanced missile defense systems on Earth. But is it real or just military propaganda? Stick around because in this video, we break down everything you need to know about Iran's hypersonic ambitions, what makes the Fatah II so dangerous, and whether this changes the balance of power in the Middle East. The Fatah II is the upgraded version of the original Fatah missile, first revealed in 2023. But this new version reportedly includes a glide vehicle warhead, enabling it to maneuver during flight and avoid interception. Claim speed, Mach 15 plus, X Hohels, Sayar, range, possibly up to 1,500 kilometers. Warhead, precision guided with maneuverable re-entry, launched by Iran's IRGC Aerospace Force. What's really shocking is the guidance system, Kukul. Iranian media claims it uses an aerodynamic body capable of making rapid mid-flight corrections, making it nearly impossible to stop. Annoyed. Ugh. Hypersonic missiles travel at five times the speed of sound or more, but what truly makes them deadly is maneuverability. Unlike ballistic missiles that follow a predictable arc, hypersonic glide vehicles can zigzag through the atmosphere. Avoiding missile defense shields like Israel's Arrow 3, USTHAD, and Aegis, even Iron Dome stands little chance against this speed. This creates a huge problem for Israel, Gulf states, and even U.S. bases in the region. Iran has a history of overstating its military capabilities. So, is the Fatah too real? Experts believe the missile is likely real based on launch footage, but claims of full hypersonic maneuverability are unverified. Satellite imagery shows testing grounds, but there's no public test data confirming Mach 15 speeds. Iran may be exaggerating, but the missile still represents a leap forward in precision strike capability. Even semi-hypersonic performance could overwhelm local defense systems. The Fatah II is a message especially to Israel, Saudi Arabia, United States. If it works, Iran could strike targets before they can respond. It threatens U.S. naval bases in Bahrain, UAE, and CENTCOM assets. It's also a deterrent. With Israel's F-35s and Arrow 3 system, Iran needs an edge. This missile could balance the scales or even give Iran a first strike option. Current missile defense systems are not designed to stop hypersonics. Arrow 3 was built for ballistic threats. FAD reacts fast, but still might miss. Aegis SM-6 can intercept high-speed targets, but it's not deployed in the region widely. The U.S. is developing glide phase interceptors, but they won't be ready until late 2020s. So if Iran's claims are even half true, they now have a weapon that cannot be reliably stopped. Yet. So, is the Fatah II a bluff or a breakthrough? Iran is pushing boundaries, and even if the missile doesn't live up to all its claims, the fear it creates is real. This hypersonic threat could spark a new regional arms race, one where speed, stealth, and surprise matter more than ever. Let us know in the comments, do you think Iran really has a working hypersonic missile? And how should Israel or the West respond? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, because we're tracking the world's most powerful, and controversial weapons every week.